Good afternoon guys, how are you today? Welcome to my vlog. In today's vlog I don't have a topic per se, but there is something I would like to talk about, and that is wind. Today is very windy, and driving in those conditions, especially on bikes, can be a bit dangerous. So I'll give you a couple of tips what you can do to stay more safe and think more about your actions. How can your you know, actions affect others and what others can do that will affect yours, your position, your, your safety and stuff like that. This guy is too close for my liking. I'll let him pass. All right, so wind. Wind is unpredictable. You cannot predict the wind. Therefore, you don't know when the gust of wind will, you know, hit from the left or right. You will not, you cannot prepare for that. And so, what you can do is actually keep a safe distance between cars. Although not between like me in front and back, that doesn't really matter because the stopping distance in a dry weather, you know, normal conditions, it's not, it's not, it's the same, it's, it doesn't change. So two second rule still applies really. So keeping at least two seconds of a gap still applies. But if you have open stretch road like this, what I'm riding on right now, you get those gusts of wind and you cannot expect, you know, to get one from the left or right, you don't know which way. Uh, I get from the front, from the back, from the left, right. So there is no rule as to where you're gonna, you know, be blasted from. From which side. And therefore, you cannot prepare for that. But what you can do is, as I said, keep a safe distance. So if there is a car next to you, move away from it. That's the best way to do it. So if the car is on the left, let it pass. Don't uh, stick behind the car. Obviously, if there is a if there is a lot of traffic, filtering also applies to that. Uh, also, it applies to filtering. Take it slow. When you're filtering in windy conditions, take it very slowly. Don't try to go, you know, because this is 50 miles an hour road. Don't try to go like 40. Go slowly. Yes, it may take longer, but yeah, you'll be a much safer in that condition. Because if you go 50 and you're filtering. If you go 50, a sudden gust of wind may actually blow you so much that you hit the car. So your, uh, the direction you are going in will change slightly. So let me, I don't want a cars to be behind me to show you that. Okay, so I don't have, a, the wind is blowing in front of me now, so I don't have any gust of winds. But let's uh, suppose there is a gust of wind from my right, so it will blow me to the left. And if you're going very fast, what's going to happen is this. Now I'm showing this on the public road, which is a bit stupid, but that's what is going to happen. And if you have low, uh, not very much space when you're filtering, then you're going to hit something. So doing it slowly gives you more safety. Obviously, even if you hit it, it's better to hit something at lower speeds than higher speeds. And also you will have much more control because you are not going fast. The wind may blow you, but it may not be, uh, blow you so much that because of the speed you will go much more to the left or to the right. So that's one of the tips I can give you guys when it comes to riding in the wind. Now, of course, there's another thing, uh, as I said, keeping the distance and also when filtering, making sure you lower the speed down. Another thing is when you're passing. When you're passing someone, when you're overtaking, do consider uh, how much space do you have. So if you don't have much space, don't, it's not worth it. As long as, you know, if the vehicle is going very slow, then it's probably not worth it. Uh, it's worth it to do it, but you can do it fast and give more space, but if the vehicle is 
moving uh, about maybe five miles an hour less than the speed limit, then I don't think there is a need to overtake. So just stay behind. If you don't see any proper, you know, appropriate um, chances or something like that, just stay behind. See that that kind of guy? This is dangerous riding. I'm going 30 on a 30 miles an hour road. He's creating danger for me and for himself. And that's what I'm talking about, you know, guys. Don't be this type of guy. Because, of course, you can still filter in the wind. But look at the weather. I am slowing down. No, I'm actually... Uh, I'm not uh, accelerating, though. I'm not slowing down, but I'm not accelerating. And I'm keeping my legs low. low. I am not, you know, revving my engine or anything. I'm just keeping my legs, uh, revs low. I'm going at a normal speed. If there's something wrong, I can just uh, engine brake or clutch in and then just uh, cruise a bit. There is no need to rush in that kind of weather because rushing will make it worse. In any weather, there is no point to rush. Even if you get there five minutes earlier, so what, five minutes? Is it that much worth it to you? Do you earn like one million do uh, pounds per year? So if you don't earn 1 million pounds per year, 5 minutes is not that expensive to you. And you will have much less stress as well. So do look out uh, when you drive in windy conditions. Oh, there's a hat. I think this guy is actually... Is it? Yeah, it is. It was this guy's hat. Uh, give appropriate space. If you cannot overtake, uh, don't. It's better not to, sometimes. And as I said, don't be the guy who actually overtook me at more than 30 miles an hour in windy conditions, because if there was a gust of wind and it blew me over to him, then I have no control. And I'll be in him. And that's not my fault. I cannot do anything. This guy was going much faster than I was, breaking the speed limit, and at the same time, you know, it's windy and you shouldn't do that, especially that close. As I said, allow more uh, space when you overtake and you should be more, uh, much more safer on the road. But hey, um, it's up to you guys. Of course, I'm giving you just the tips. I'm not telling you what to do with your life. If you are this type of person and you want to do it, I'm fine by that. Uh, it's your choice. This guy turned, off the turned on the indicator to go straight. That's, that's good. So anyway guys, I hope you found those um, tips useful. And do you like my vlog? If you do, uh, consider subscribing and liking my videos. Of course, if you want to. And sharing them also if you want to. And that's pretty much that from me today. Uh, be careful when you ride in rainy conditions and in windy conditions. Rainy especially because you have much less grip. And I will see you in my next vlog pretty much. I blast out.